Hi there, Lauren Poindexter here with TriPoint Homes. I'm excited to show you the Wimbrel floor plan. It's 2,688 square feet. It's going to come with four bedrooms, three baths. You can add a fifth bedroom. You can add a media room. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is the Wimbrel floor plan that I'm going to walk you through. Now this is a model. So this right here would be your garage space here. Uh, let's walk through this one. Now this is a 45 foot product and what that means is it sits on a 45 foot wide lot. The 8 foot entry door is an upgrade. Usually it comes with a standard 6 foot 8 door. And then as you walk in, you get this double height ceiling uh, in the entryway. The open railing that you see right here is an option. Usually it would come as a pony wall, but you could open that up to create a more of a breezeway. Now, right off the front entry, you're gonna have a kind of tucked away suite with a bedroom here in the front, and then its own uh, bathroom that services it here. And this is going to be one of your uh, linen closets here. And then you have this open layout that, again, these double height ceilings, lots of light that come through that comes through in this home. I have people tell me all the time this does not even feel like it's 45 foot product but it because it's such a good use of the space and the ceilings really open it up and make it feel big so here you have the kitchen and then we passed it up but let me show you really quick off of this entryway that's going to be your entry to the garage that's going to be your coat closet here and then you have a really good size utility room here and you can do upper cabinets or if, if you like to do that so let's go back here to the living area now there's going to be a walk-in pantry here and then off of the kitchen, you're going to have your primary suite. One of the upgrades in this home is the built-in cooktop with a built-in oven. Usually for 45-foot product, what you're going to get is a slide-in range with a microwave vent hood above it. So just to kind of show you that that is an option here. And then you have... The primary suite this is all king size furniture so i'm kind of glad you get to see what it looks like uh with furniture because they do look smaller when they don't have furniture in them another question i get all the time is are the windows standard yes these windows the length and the height of these windows are standard again not skimping on the light at all and same goes with like this primary bath window um, that comes um, like that. I get that all the time. People are like, is this? Now, the tub here, this is called a luxury bath, and I'm going to explain to you why. Usually what would come standard would be a shower, and then you'll have some kind of fiberglass pan. But when you upgrade to the luxury bath, it gives you a kind of a subset tub where half of it is kind of under the subfloor, the other half is lifted above the floor, and then you get a mud set shower, which is more of a step down instead of a step over, um, and you put, put tile in that. So you can see that's plenty of space here. It's good width here, and then the double vanities come standard in the owner suite. Um, another thing that I love about TriPoint is all of the lighting that also comes, like the LED lighting that it comes in the bathroom standard. Um, and then of course, this would probably come as undermount sinks, not above, so that's an upgraded sink there. And then you have your water closet here, and then you have a decent size closet here and pretty much this are kind of standard shelves for this closet 
that you see here. But you can also always capitalize the space and add like more shelving. So let's go this way. The curved stairs in my Wimbrel, I get this question too, that's a standard feature here. So that's very nice about this Wimbrel is that you get that, that architectural detail in this home. And then let me show you the house from this angle here. Now another option you could add, you could add an electric fireplace. So instead of this nook here, you would have an electric fireplace if you would like a fireplace feature in this home. I'm gonna take you upstairs now. Okay, I'm at the top of the stairs. Again, this would be a pony wall, but you could open it up to do open railing. And this is the view from upstairs here. And then another view for over the entryway here. And then you're going to have two bedrooms um, at the top of the stairs, both good size. So that's a full size bed here. You have a shared bathroom. The second, the second sink is an option that you can add. Usually it'll come with one sink. And then I like that it has a separate door to the tub and toilet area. And then again, another bedroom here. This one has a walk-in closet there. And that is a full-size bed here. Now, one of the options that you could add to the Wimbrel, to, it will increase the square footage, is another bedroom or media room. But let, let's see the game room first. And the game room also overlooks the downstairs. And this area too would be a pony wall, but when you open up that railing, you also open up this one too if you choose that option. Now this here in a model is a, a good size media room, but you can turn this space into a fifth bedroom with an ensuite bath. Um, so then it would take the house from four to five bedrooms, four baths. So let me take you to the patio. I love the height of the patio uh, on this one because it doesn't, it, it doesn't mess with the sight lines of the windows here and it lets more natural light in. Uh, depending on the neighborhood, this could be an option or this becomes standard. It depends on the neighborhood and the standard uh, specs for that neighborhood. So this is the beautiful Wimbro floor plan, the 45 foot product.